We're now going to talk about different ways of writing a three-part inequality. Okay, so right now we're just going to focus on negative 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 3. So our x is in an interval. This is form, pretty common, is called inequality form. So we see, write your answer as an inequality. This is what they mean. Okay, another way we could represent the same exact data is on a number line. We have the point 3, we have the point negative 1. Okay. So what this is saying is x is between these two numbers. We include negative 1. So when you include something, we draw a solid circle. So you circle, fill it in. When you don't include something, you have an open circle. And just shade your line in between the two, just saying everything between negative 1 and 3, including 1. So when you ever see Write your answer on a number line. This is what you are going for. Third way of doing this is what is called interval notation. Okay, And this can sort of look like a point from your rectilinear your coordinate system. And basically, it's the same way of writing it. Did I do that backwards? I did. So you always have a hard bracket, an angled bracket, when you include the number. Okay, So here we want to have negative 1 included. So we put a what's called a hard bracket on one end. That means you equal it. And you put a soft bracket on the other side. Okay? Rounded. So this is saying the exact same thing as these previous two, but is called interval notation. And the last way we're going to talk about is what they call builder notation. Sometimes you hear it as set builder notation, which you get these funky bracket, x, and it's basically a bar. This bar means such that, okay? And that is your restriction on whatever this is your variable. And then you just write the inequality, finish it up with a, another, make that a little bit clearer for you, with our bracket. So this is basically saying x such that x fits this restrictions. Same restrictions we had up here. And this is called builder notation. So four different ways, of all writing the exact same thing. x is between negative 1 and 3, including negative 1.